previous lesson, we looked at different ecosystems, communities of plants and animals and decomposers, communities through which energy flows and the chemicals of life move more or less in a circle. Some of these ecosystems that have stayed much the same for hundreds or perhaps thousands of years can be described as steady state systems. Perhaps an occasional flood, fire, hot summer or an unusual event bring some changes for a small period of time, but over a large period of time the ecosystem stays much the same. So we can say it is a steady state. We see steady states in industry as well as in nature and in other areas of our life. So let's see what the term steady state means by having a look at some simple examples. Imagine an empty saucepan on a hot stove with nothing in it. Eventually it heats up as hot as it's going to get. At this point it can be called a steady state system. Energy is being added to the saucepan. The heat is passing through the bottom of the saucepan and then leaving it at the same rate as it is coming in. What makes this a steady state system is this. There is a continuous input of energy in the form of heat. There is a process that is taking place, that is the bottom of the saucepan is passing on heat to the inside. There is continuous output, heat. However, the whole system is staying the same. All parts of the system are steady. Now, imagine there is water in the saucepan that is boiling. The level of the water in the saucepan would be decreasing. So, in this instance, there is a change in the system. It is not staying the same over a long period of time. The system is not steady. This would not be a steady state system. Here we have a sink that is overflowing. Like other steady state systems, it has an input, water, which has both kinetic and potential energy. A very simple process, movement, is occurring in the system, and output, water, going out. Another output from this steady state system would be a very small amount of heat and some sound energy. A blast furnace used for making iron is a steady state system. It has inputs of coke, limestone, iron ore and heated air. The main outputs are slag waste, molten iron and in this case a very large amount of heat energy. The processes that continue are the chemical reactions that go to produce the iron. As iron is made in this way, the inputs keep coming in, the outputs keep going out, and the temperature inside the blast furnace stays about the same. Inside the blast furnace we have a steady state. In a stable coral reef ecosystem, the energy input is light from the sun. Other inputs to this system are the nutrients dissolved in the water, including carbon dioxide. Then we have a large number of processes, activities taking place such as eating, growing, reproducing and decomposing. The outputs would include the carbon dioxide and water from respiration, nitrates and phosphates as well as heat, a very small amount of heat. An aquarium can also operate like a steady state system. There can be an input of light and heat, plants photosynthesizing, animals consuming, plants and animals dying and decomposing, returning nutrients to the tank, enabling the cycle of life to continue. Energy in the form of heat, again, would be lost from the system. So, in summary, we can say a steady state system is one in which there is an input of energy and other materials. There are different processes or activities occurring. 
these processes occur at the same rate, so that it seems things are steady or unchanging. Then there are outputs. One of the outputs is heat energy. Would it be correct to think of our Earth as a steady state system? Perhaps thousands of years ago, before humans developed medicines which have helped save human lives, and before factories began producing many different products, Earth was like a steady state system. At the present time, there are some parts of the world where we can see a steady state. However, there are many processes that are continuing to change what we might call the global ecosystem. You may be able to think of some of them. Knowing if a system is a steady state system or not is important if ecosystems are to be preserved. Understanding what a steady state system is can help us preserve our global ecosystem.